We will start by going to the controller drop down menu and selecting hardware configuration. You can select a specific controller by pressing the top config button. First select the family type, in this case we'll use the XL series, then the device type. We'll be using the XL6 e CSK device. Finally select the model number, we'll be using the XL1 E5. If you are currently connected to a controller you would like to use, you can skip the previous step by pressing auto config system. This will automatically select the controller. Next we will configure the controller's I.O. Select the config button just right of the orange connector and you'll see an I.O. map of all the registers that the controller uses, both digital and analog. Select the module setup tab and we will start with the digital and high speed counter setup. This controller has four inputs that can be configured for high speed counting. Either frequency, totalized pulse, or inputs one and three can be configured for quadrature. Next is the digital output and PWM control. You have the option between normal output, stepper, high speed output, or PWM. For normal outputs, you can choose their state if the controller is placed into stop mode. Next is the configuration for analog inputs. There are various options available depending on the controller you are using. There is also a filter constant that averages value over a set number of scans. The scale can be found in the data sheet for each controller. Finally, we have analog outputs. You have the option to determine what the value will be set in the event that the controller is in stop mode, as well as what mode you are using, either voltage or current. Be sure to reference the datasheet of your PLC for dip switch settings and jumper pin placement.